My name is Dr. Isadora and I created a film called Things We Don't Talk About, Women's Stories from the Red Tent. And this is my mother, Teresa Morehouse. Hello. And we're really grateful to have been invited to the Red Tent Telesummit to talk about our daughters, ourselves. And one of the core messages that my mom passed down to me was to be a citizen of the world. In many respects, I, um, I am a, a citizen of the United States, but um, I value and I respect all traditions and all countries and all cultures. And I also really honor all religious practices and spiritual traditions. And one of the values I got from my mother was the work ethic, and another was service to others. And if you put those things together, there isn't any dream that you cannot fulfill as a woman. Also, one of the values that I wanted to pass down to my daughter was that she would be able to live the life that she chose. When she was growing up, I was an illustrator, which was a very good job, and I enjoyed the job, but I'm still working for somebody else. I'm a sculptor, and, you know, how can I tell her what to do? I need to show her how to do it. So I had to summon up the courage, you know, was I going to be able to feed her and house her and clothe her? Um, I had to conquer that fear and go out and live my dream. So for the last 15 years, I've been an artist full-time doing sculptures. My sculptures are about empowering other women and talking about the stories that we're walking around in. Open Doors is an invitation to life and its remarkable journey. Part of us aches for the interior life. If we hesitate too long, the path gets harder to find. I'm really grateful that she showed me that example. And, um, you know, in many respects, the apple didn't fall far from the tree. But, you know, while it rolled away to a different section, it's, you know, blossomed into something really beautiful. And I've also been able to pass along that kind of, that similar idea to my sister. So my sister Elizabeth is fantastic. And she, we have different mothers and, um, but you know, she's my sister and I adore her. And we're nine years apart. She's nine years younger than me. And when she was a teenager, you know, she was very interested in fast fashion and costumes and making things. And she was also a singer and she, she took voice lessons several times a week and you know all that time that I spent with her you know she now uses as you know a 20 year old 24 year old woman and she travels all over the country with her dance troupe and she's performing in front of hundreds of people and she makes her own costumes she's singing she's dancing and she's doing all these fantastic things that empower women and I'm just really really proud that you know she's been able to take that time that we spent together and now move it into something that she's good at. One of the legacies that I would like to pass down to women and to young girls is, um, well, let me preface with that, I'm a 70 year old woman so I've had some experience and I believe that life is a thought and if you want to change your life, change the way you think and if you do that then you will also empower other women to do the same. And I think for me, um, I came into this world with a very strong life mission. My life mission is to create multimedia to inspire and empower women. And I believe that every single person comes in with a life mission of something that they're supposed to do. So I would really encourage today's girls to figure out what that is and go do it. So if you want to learn more about the Red Tent movie, the things we don't talk about, women's stories from the Red Tent, which I co-produced with Elisa Starkweather, just hop on over to www.redtentmovie.com. You can watch the film online. Uh, you can enter to win a copy or some other little wonderful little goodies. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Take five. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs>